Hi there, I'm Tim Kelly and welcome to another Zuga show. This one today will be on posing, posing for one. We're going to take one model and do high key and low key study, full length, medium view and tight and hopefully give you a lot of ideas on how you can handle uh, one person with very minimal props. That's what I'm about and that's what I'm going to share with you today. We're going to shoot full length, female, high key first. We'll start with um, standing, which is what I would normally do in the course of a, a paid study. So we're going to put Rose, she's actually in the middle already. We talked about the lighting already at another time, but I'll just reiterate the highlights for you. We're using the Larson softbox as our main light, about 45 degrees from her and it's giving me about an F11 reading. The fill light is a 4x6 Larson box giving me an F8 reading and it's 90 degrees off her shoulder right over here at the side which is where it almost always stays. For reflector panel we're using a light form with legs to reflect back into uh, our figure and then we have a hair light which is a 30, 10 by 30 grid softbox and a background spot which we'll deal with a little later on. Right now we're going to look for a good exposure of her full length form. I'm going to use digital camera of course and that way I don't have to pull a Polaroid or wait for anything else. She's good. Since this is going to be posing, let's start. <laughs> These hands, leave them. Um, I don't care for hands that are cut off this way. What I want to see is fingers, not not claws. Therefore, we're going to make her take the hands apart. Get very, very soft. Bring them up almost this way, Rose, like uphill. Good. And what I like to do, and it works even good with two-year-old children, is to say, leave your hands pointed upwards, laying kind of down, but then just kind of like count your fingers. One, two, three, or scratch your fingernails, or some, some kind of real activity will actually make a much prettier hand. And then I might uh, amend it by just taking a finger out like that, but I'll make her do it over and over until I actually get what I want. So, a much prettier hand. First, go ahead and claw it over like you normally do. <laughs> okay, now take it apart, face it uphill, and keep them, those fingers as long as you can. Let's make one high, one low, like that. That's good, but make it natural. Kind of grab different fingers, different thumbs. I'm looking for the one that works. Try the other side, flip, yeah. But now, just I want to see you just kind of count your fingers. Boom, boom. Actually, posture up again and we want to tip the head that way. Much prettier hands that way. Now we also have already got a good form on the lower body, the way she's got her weight on the back leg and one foot pointed at me. Let's do our first photographic test here and you can see on the screen what it looks like. It's pretty close lighting wise so I think we're pretty good to move ahead. With a, uh, a zoom lens of course we can go ahead and grab the full length image, the three quarter including hands and the tighter shots just without even changing her. We've of course chosen to place her body away from the light to give her form. We would never face the white top of a female into the light. So we're going to leave her right there for just another shot. Rose, I want you to actually um, move your hands. Just take it all apart. You're good. Okay. Then up. Bring it back together again. Great. Just like that. Even longer, lower. There you go. That's pretty. See, that's a more natural looking pose. Now, I also want you to look down this way. Maybe tip the head a little harder, please. Good girl. All right, so there's a shot for us to study. Stay right there. I'll do a closer version. Great. There is a pretty three quarter. Now, let's look at, take it apart for a minute. Just turn her into the light for a minute just to see how it doesn't have the shape I want. Put the hands maybe behind the back or something. Pump up a little bit. Uh, you pop in your knee a little too much. There you go. Straight up and down. We'll shoot one for you. And she's small enough, of course, to be able to carry it. But in a normal situation, uh, this is not the ideal lighting for the form. Now, just take the exact same pose and turn it away from the light. Same thing. Good. Bending good. Stay right there. We'll have so much more shape this way. And you can compare those two on the screen. Very pretty. And let's go ahead and modify this since we are posing today. Take the exact same thing. I'm only shooting through the hip and we'll go ahead and put the hands to the hips. Good. Now she's doing it nicely. What I'm always looking to do is make sure this wrist is pushed down as much as possible 
when we're doing this type of, I don't like to call it fashion posing, it's just feminine posing, but I always want that wrist pushed down as hard as we can get it. And I almost like the two hands to be at different heights, one high, one low. So we'll do this one, and she looks good. Let's just take one for you to have in the little collection here. And we can also do a full length of it as well. Good. All right. Beautiful. Relax for a moment. Very, very nice. Okay. We've got the full length. The, as far as the feet go, uh, let's take a look here. Face away from the light again. Why don't you stand normal first? Just two feet square. This is not enough form for female in a long dress like this. We have to see the knee pop out. The first thing I ask the subject to do is make sure all the weight is on the back leg. I may also tell them, prove it to me by taking this one right off the ground. <laughs> you know, that's a very easy way to accomplish it. So I make them lift that weight and then we, we pop that knee so that the dress takes shape. And we may even sometimes bring this foot out more this way. So we get even more of a S curve in there. And that's fine. Let's put the hands out where we can see them. Good. Get a little straighter. I think we have too much bend there. Good. Now I'm going to take it apart. Uh, Rose, just take the whole thing apart. We're going to do it fresh. All right. And let's move you over just a touch. Now weight on the back leg. First one. Bring the foot back closer. Yeah, there you go. More comfortable. That's good. Right there. Perfect. Stay right there. Great. All right. There is your basic female standing pose. And let's make it a little more elegant and less fashiony by bringing the hands down. This is more classic. Good. I hope you can see the difference. We went from fashion to classic. Very pretty. Now, what we're going to do is bring, relax, relax. We're going to bring a chair in just to give her something to lean on. We try not to rely on props. I don't like them to be crutches for us. So we're just going to put a chair in so she has some place to, to put her hands. So we're going to use this one which works with this scene fairly well. I'm going to leave it right about here. We, of course, can do full length images, but I'm interested mostly in three quarter, including the arms and a little hip. Uh, what we do want to make note of, though, is you'll see in almost all the images that I create is I favor the props on the side away from the light source. So if we are lit from this side, I don't want to prop over here in front of her, though this one could work because it's basically non-reflective, very tiny, but for the most part, as a rule, I always want my props to be on the shadow side. So we're going to leave it here to start. You just rest there. We really don't want her to, to pose. I'm just going to light her first and then I'll fix her up the way I want her. Now this light coming in tighter is for the reason of making a softer, broader light for her. It's now going to obviously be brighter, so the way for me to um, modify that is not to stop my camera down, but to turn the power down on my strobe. And I should get the exact same results. I will also need to bring my reflector in closer. My rule of thumb in this kind of lighting is to have the reflector in as close as I possibly can without it appearing in the picture. So here it is. It's not to the side of her. I see a lot of photographers make the mistake of putting the reflector over here. And I'm not trying to light this side. I'm trying to light the transition between the, the shadow and the highlight. So that means this light, reflected light, wants to be way out here so that it fills a transitional from shadow to highlight, not the opposite side. So let me test her three-quarter pose. Beautiful. Take a look at that. That's really nice. Very, very good. I like now, since we're establishing a good image, to introduce my background spot. Okay? You stay right here and let me show you what we're talking about first. Get this out of the way. I have another light on this rail, which has a grid on it. It's got remote control and everything. I want to put an extra light in that background. To me, the background in this previous preview is very flat. It's just a flat background, it doesn't have a lot of extra dimension. She has plenty of dimension, but the background didn't. So by putting this light, this spotlight, into play here, because of the light being on the left, I'm going to put it in the upper right-hand corner and see how that works. 
and it's set at a way low 15 watts. I'm going to take it up to 22 watts, which is nothing. But as we discussed in the lighting show, it's because it's a light background. It doesn't take much to, to lighten it up. So let's do one more proof of this with the new background spot. See if we can see it yet. It's better. I'd like even more. So I'm going to go ahead and punch it up again. There we go. I think in the next pose you'll see it, the results of it, just the way we need it to be. Whoop, hang on. And yes, it's starting to shape up very nicely. Good. Okay, I'm going to widen this light just a little bit because her shadowing was a little bit dark. Mostly the reason is because this reflector is not as close as I might normally like it to be. I'm trying to keep it kind of out of our way so we can see everything well today. But that looks right. Let's do a few poses. Now, another little tip is the model or subject, usually we're hoping that they're paying clients, uh, will tire of a pose. Therefore, I make them take it apart, even if it looks pretty nice, because it just needs to be fresh. So I'm going to make her, I tell them, get everything tight, you know, loosen your body up, pull the clothing tight, get it ready, then approach, and that will be just where we want it to be. Perfect. Much nicer. Another, another shot. Very good. We've got her covered on that pose. Now, another element. Stay there for a sec. I just want to show again, as I've noticed before and have talked about, for posing the female, whether it's high key or low key, I always want to see through here. I want to see the waistline. So we always make sure that we can. That's a, that's a real uh, important part. When we see uh, the opportunity to teach it again, I will show you. If she closed up, go ahead and close that up. Put your arms right against. We have a much wider form and we don't want, most women don't want to be wider. So we want to see through. So we want to open up and we want to see the waist. And that's a real important part. Okay, now I'm going to have her approach the other side. We're going to do like we have on um, the lighting pose. I'm going to have you kind of get a little shorter and lean this way into the light. Just get, get short for me. And we're only looking for the, the chair and higher from here up. So I'm not too worried about the rest of her posture. I'm just looking for a nice pose here. Okay, this hand, if we can see this, guys and ladies, this hand is cut off. See how she's got it covered up? We gotta see those fingers. So they gotta, you know, roll or do something so that they're not covered up like this. Now, let's straighten the head a little. Good girl, that's fine. Gonna move the light down a little bit. She's now a foot shorter. So we have to modify the light. So we're taking the light down a foot. Reflector is still good. Spotlight is still good. Let's grab this pose. I kind of like it in a horizontal, actually. My light's moving again. <laughs> Hang on, everybody. Looks good. Stay right where you are. And the head's going to tip just a little. Good. Let's go ahead and grab this shot before the light moves on us. Beautiful. Serious and chin down this way. Beautiful. Good. Let's see how that looks. Very, very pretty. That works well. Okay. Let's relax for a minute there, Rose. She's kind of tall, so she had a more difficult time getting down into that pose. So I think a solution for her will be to sit her behind that chair. So let's just use a posing stool, traditional posing stool here, which we won't see. And we'll place her behind it. I think we'll put you this way. Have a seat and put the legs around this way. So let's do a spin, yeah. Okay, then another element that I think is important to make sure that you're, if it's a child or a young lady or whomever, I don't want them to feel like they can be spun easily, so I usually put a foot box posing block or anything underneath to give them a little more security. So that's for her there. Again, I'm only still interested in this much, and that's, that's fine. Now, we want to separate the hands, good, and we want to twist the body into the shade more, so I'm going to make you, you can actually turn a whole lot more, good, we definitely want her body away from the light a little bit, and move my light in so that's coming about 45 degrees to her, she looks good there, that's fine actually, this is good, let's get our light in a little closer, she's now lower as we said, so the spotlight's going down a little bit too. 
All right, that should work. Stay right there for me. I have to open up a little bit so everybody can see. All right, here we go. Just straight up and down, beautiful. Let's assess it. That's what I love about digital photography. We can look and see what has to be fixed. Not too bad. I believe I'd like to have our hands more open. So just we're going to just take them apart more. Good. That's nice. And that's really just to give length to the hand and, fi and fingers. There. <laughs> okay, your nose more down, straight down the hall. There we go. Now, another element that we've discussed in lighting uh, shows is that we use a gobo. And that would be a reflector on wheels on an articulated arm that we can use to place wherever we want. And right now, it'll also help me keep this light from moving. And I'm going to darken her bottom up a little bit with that. And that should work really nicely. Hold still now. Should be good. If you can all sing, that's good. Here we go. Just a shot. Okay, Rose. Now, she's good. The hands are pretty good, but the form is straight up. So we're going to make you take it apart. Sit back on the chair more this way because I want an angle. I want her, her body. First, get your posture. Fall towards your knees, please. Yeah, twist the top out of the light. Go, you go ahead and move the hands this way if you want. There you go. Fall the head down a little bit. Back, nose back to me. There you go. You got to have some angle happening for it to be pretty. You can't just have her straight up and down. That's real nice. You get a little closer. Very good. All right. That's pretty. Okay, let's do another modification. And because, you can relax a little bit, because what we're seeing so much just white top uh, without, there's no detail or anything, uh, it's just a mass. It's as big as her face, this mass of white. So I'd like to break it up. And one of the best ways is just to bring the hands up. Either compress the top or bring the hands up and that will break up her white top. So let's use our arms elbows down, anything like that. Yeah, just good. Stay like that. Perfect. So much prettier. This is so minimized. We got a V shape here. We got leading lines and we got a great pose and great light. And now you don't look like George Washington anymore. There you go. That's real pretty. What we're going to do is turn up the background light because her top is stark white and I'm using kind of a beigey background, I would like to raise the volume of the background to make it more in key with her clothes. My high key is really a medium high key and she's wearing high key clothes so I'm going to actually lift the background lighter higher by powering up my big box over here. And let me see if I can reach that. There we go. All right, I'm going to actually move this out and closer to the background. All right. The purpose of which is to light up the background more, make it brighter. So let's do the same shot right next to the one we just captured and see, oh yeah. And you can see the, the great difference in tonal value. Okay, real pretty. Stay there if you would. Let's try using the gobo now as a reflector to fill this face up with a little more light, a little more fashiony lighting. If this light will stay put for me, we're going to put this reflector in place. And let's see what we can do. That's kind of our cutoff point for the photograph. You're still good right there. I'd like a little more of this. I'm going to box her right in. Let's get this thing to stay up. Okay. Hang on for a minute. Good. It's just going to give us a little more flavor in the eyes, a little more light under the chin, and I'm going to just do a test, see if I like it. It's good. Now I'm going to make our model redo the pose. So take it apart, get rested, get everything tight, and we're going to do the same picture again, fresh. Turn the hand so not so much backside of the hand, you know, soft hands. Good, good. That's all right. She lost it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> now go ahead and put one, one low, one high. Good. I want fingers always to be long, so there you go. That's nice. We'll do that. All right. And eyes to me. Beautiful. That's real pretty. Great, great, great. All righty. Now let's try 
One more thing before we get into a whole nother scenario. Something I would do with younger children, boys and girls, is to get them uh, even smaller down alongside this, um, this type of a chair. And we have another chair we might use for this. I think I will bring in a different chair. Let's get up for a minute, take a break. Okay, let's try a different posing device, another more decorative chair. I'm only going to use this much of it right here because first of all, she's got a little blue in her outfit and it would clash with this color. But this, these color tones go with most anything and I seldom see more than this much. Uh, I will use more of the chair if it's appropriate and I think it's going to uh, match color wise. But I'm going to have her sit behind here. Rose, come on in here and put the legs that way, I believe. Good. And if that size fits her, of course, these are adjustable posing stools, so we can put her up and down as we need to, but I think we're fairly close. The goal for this picture is to keep all the arms and hands and cut it like here, and that's it. So just hold it for a second, and we'll get our lighting pretty close, and then we'll pose. I always make sure that the technical is handled first and the aesthetic is second. That way, we know that when we have the expression in the look, everything's going to come out all right. So, Rose, let's have you push up, twist the top into the light more, actually. Too skinny. Good. Bring a hand up. Good. That's fine, actually. And then, see, right here, this hand is okay, but I would much rather push this wrist down like this. Much prettier hand, longer, more form, and good. All right, she's good there. All right, we may have you move it higher. It might look better up there. Good, and then we'll do it fresh when we're ready. I'm going to do my test photograph first. Zoom in close, and I'm not loving the hand yet, but it is close. So as we get the picture refined, and actually lighting-wise, it's sound. So what we're going to do <clears throat> is tell her, take it apart, please. Keep everything tight. We're going to go, just go fall in and boom, there you go. Push that wrist down more. There you go. That's what I want. It's much nicer. Good. Now, we're going to just change the head squarer. Good. All right. Oh, again, please. Thank you. And that's great. Let me zoom in for a real close up. And we'll bring both hands, get a little straighter. And we'll bring both hands up somehow, you know, like this. Again, like, kind of like before. Pushing there. Good. All right. That's fine. And she needs to be just a little bit into the light. I have to have light in this eye. So here we go. Another pretty pose. Good. Chin down even more. Just try forcing down a little. Good. And lastly, let's just take those hands and go even lower. We'll just fake them down. Beautiful. Okay. Hold it. Great. Let's tip the head this way, please. Good girl. And great. Now, just to be sure that we have something good, I'm going to flop the arms to the other side instead. Good. But your head will still point this way. So let's do this. Hang on a second. This is good. Let me just move this one. Less retouching for later. <laughs> let's grab the shot that she just gave us by, mis you know, not mistake, but by accident here. Okay, there's a shot. Now let's straighten the head up. More, more, more. Kind of put your chin to the arms. Good. To the hands. Beautiful. I like that. I like that one a lot. That's pretty. Good, good, good. Now, let's see if we can't keep this same feel. Now, I like everything except I feel like she's too much in the shadow. Make sure you're tall. We're going to spin the whole thing into the light more and do the exact same thing. Good. All right. Yeah, that's nice. Good. Definitely always like the compressed V shape. It's great for framing. Just stay as tall as you can and, and we're fall forward. Beautiful. And nose to me just a little and more tip. Chin up into the light more. There you go. That's prettier. Stay there. Gorgeous. Okay. One last time. And then what I wanted to show you also, relax, is more of a photograph that I'll do with children, but I'll just demonstrate it here in this posing uh, tutorial. So we're going to let you gonna move this away for a second. You can actually stay there. What I'm going to do is make her shorter, see if she can go all the way down. All I want is little hands and face. And what we'll do, the light's from this side, so the chair will be on this side. I'm going to have you put your hands up here. Squash in kind of close. Yeah, beautiful. Now, of course, 
we got to move our light down. You know, we've got a gorgeous pose. Imagine this is a five-year-old, you know, little girl. It, this is a winner every time. It's a daddy killer shot. <laughs> so that is a real nice idea. And I'm just showing this much now. That's it. That's my crop point right there. And I'll do a horizontal. It'll make great wallets, great five by sevens. We just have to tip the head more, I think. Good girl, hold it. Let me look at it and then we'll decide how to make it better. It's very, very pretty. I can go even tighter with it. <clears throat> and what I'll do, <clears throat> she's really in a pretty good pose, but the one thing that's lacking for me is I want more angle, more diagonal. So I'm gonna make you take the same thing, try not to move it much and just slide it on down the chair. Say more angle, good girl, that's it, okay. The lighting's a little flat, we'll make it a little more dramatic. Darkening off her blouse with that light right there, <clears throat> with the gobo. And a little reflector here. Background spot needs to be lowered as well. And we should be ready. It should be a beautiful pose that we do all the time. Beautiful. And of course we get the pouty little looks and we get smiles when we do the kids too. Chin up, eyes bright, good girl. All right. And those are shot as a horizontal. I can also zoom in and get a great face. Okay. Now, before we <clears throat> exit this, let's take it apart, Rose. I just want to see if the, um, the hands up any, end up any differently if we do one more time. So just go tall, approach, fall. Let's close those hands a little. There you go. Kind of roll them. Good. There you are. Just a little nice. Uh, get your head in closer and chin higher. Beautiful and eyes to me. Great. Okay, and let's just look down for one. Beautiful, good. Okay. All right, let's move on to something new. So let's go on, get on up here. The final things that we're going to do in high key are uh, kind of sitting on the floor, which we'll do in just a moment. Sometimes to do a successful series on the floor, we want to lift an adult up a little bit. So I take a posing block and slide it under the background fabric, somewhere right here in the middle, to give her something to sit on. And if I was doing a guy, like he can go right here, just one pose just like this, and that's what I'm going to do with her, except we're going to make the legs longer, go kind of like this. So this was much more comfortable for the model than being right on the floor. And it also is just ends up a little bit more attractive. So let's bring our model in. Rose, you can sit there. Let's try the legs this way first. I'll probably do it from both directions, not knowing which one I'm going to like better. Good. Now, she already is in fairly good shape. One of the important things about posing the legs and feet on a longer subject, like she's an adult, is we don't want this hand to come at me to, for one thing. I want it to recline. I always want these knees stacked. I've got two knees here. This one should be higher than. That's just more classical. I get to see a little bit of both feet. She's in good shape right there. I'll make sure this fabric doesn't cover any of her uh, feet up. We don't want to have it covered any toes and look like she's missing toes. So let's get our background light situated. Good. And this light a little closer here to where it needs to be. And we'll do this in reverse too and put her legs more into shadow rather than into light. But I think this will be, be fine. Here we go. Let me get a test shot. And Rose, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to need another lens to fit you on there, but this, this light will show us pretty close. One more time, dear. I've opened up a stop further away with the lighting. That's really pretty nice. Okay, let me do this. Relax for a minute. I'm going to change lenses so I can get a full body shot. Here we go. Okay, this is the short zoom. And we're going to go ahead and be able to get her whole figure this way. That hand can be wherever you want it to be. It just can't be coming at me. So you can lay it way down. Lay that hand way down. Good girl. That's fine. Push up the posture a tiny bit. Tip the head and nose back to me. I like shadow on her face. That's good. Let's go ahead and get this picture. Very pretty. Background looks good. Pose is pretty. Okay. 
I usually shoot from above eye level. Seldom do I go, go to the floor. A lot of people believe you should shoot children at their level. I like to shoot down on them as their parent sees them, actually. Okay, that's really pretty. Now, there's not too much else to discover here on this side, so let's flop the pose, Rose, and we'll go legs through the other way. Good. So you're sitting on the right cheek, toes out. Now, this, what this will do is minimize the feet. If you had feet you don't want to show, you'd more put them in the shadow side. Uh, let's say we were, we were posing a young couple, husband, wife, or engaged couple, and you were doing a casual jeans and bare feet type thing, I'd probably put his feet on the shadow side, <laughs> you know? That's just a typical idea. Good, she stacked her legs, but we're going to bring the, the feet forward so they're not too small. Because if they're too far away, they get smaller, and that's no good. That's pretty good. Stay there. And let's take one shot, just so you have the comparison. Very sweet. Good. Now, let's see. That's nice. Okay, Rose, let's have you sit more on the box, please, and face that way. You kind of lean over your own knees a little more. Yeah. Now, you have to do get a foot out more. The other one would be better. The forefoot. Good. Now, that's pretty. Stay tall. Twist the top to me just a little so we get light on you. That's good. Bring this forearm back. Yeah. Skinny it up. That's, that's fine right there. She looks great. Let's just grab this one. This way I can make an image that fits more of a standard uh, comp, um, crop size. Beautiful. That works real nice. Now, a variation of this, which is real pretty, is to leave her figure there, turn her face over here to look down at the bottom of this light, and we'll get something a little softer and moodier from the same picture, from kind of her eye level. And when she's looking over there, she's turned her head real nicely as far as the light goes. Then I'll have her bring her eyes to me. Good, for another view. Very, very pretty. Let's try another variation. Uh, let's have you lean back more. Good. Twist again. Look down, way down to the corner of the background. That's pretty. Stay there. Nice shape. That works out real well. And then once again, eyes to the camera. Come back a little bit so we can get a good shot. There we are. Very pretty. Relaxed. Okay, now, what is also important about posing is that when a person is at rest, they often look great. So I'm always eyes opened on my, my subjects so that when I tell them, okay, relax a minute, chances are we have a great picture, <laughs> okay? So I'm going to leave her exactly as she is to grab that picture. This happens all the time. And that's really pretty. Stay right there. Very nice. Let's, in fact, flop this one around. Do the same thing in reverse. Face that way. And just kind of actually, Rose, yeah, why don't you elbow in more, kind of leaning that way. Good girl. I like that. That looks very nice. Very, these things can come very easily if you're looking for them. Very pretty. Good eyes here. Nice. So, let me just take this moment then to share that even though this is a, a module of lighting on, on the posing of one person, it is very easy for us to obviously build a small family, mother and kids, or husband, wife, or engaged couple by starting right here and getting the other people involved. Usually another box, a higher box, dad can sit on or the boyfriend or whatever and we can build some great poses and we'll do that at another time. This is all about posing for one today. So that basically concludes you know, the high key series for the posing of one. Welcome back. Now we're going to cover the low key style of portraiture using the same lighting, just a different uh, background, different clothing, different furniture. And we're going to start with the same full length, most difficult to light scenario or setup, and then come in tighter and tighter and be more critical about the hair light and the facial light, etc. So let's do a full length image. Rose can come out here. We're just going to stand her here as a mannequin for a moment or two. 
Uh, this background that we're going to use is one of David Mayhew's um, tapestry backgrounds or border backgrounds. I really like this one. Nice warm colors. I have some furniture that will go in front of this real nicely. But I'm going to start with the full body, then come in tight and give her something to hold on to. So just stay right there. I'm going to set up with a shorter zoom so I can get the full figure and then get a medium shot as well using the Kodak digital camera so I have instant feedback. Let me grab a quick test. This one is unposed just yet just so we have the light checked. It's my, my Polaroid if you will. And let's see what we got. Very nice. Really close. I see just a little change I'm going to make and you can see on the proof on the monitor Spotlight's a little bit too much behind her head, so we're going to pull it off to the side a little bit. The other lighting is pretty nice. We're getting a little dark on her leg. We don't need this gobo in when she's wearing such a dark outfit. And beautiful. Good. That's pretty nice. Put this right here. Okay, Rose, this hand should kind of go flat against the leg. A little wrist out action. Good. This one can kind of pinch a little or something. You want the index finger to remain long. Good. Stay right there. One more image. Full body test. And let me look at that. Much nicer. Now, she's pretty much got a good feel for a very soft S curve, but I like to exaggerate a little bit. So, I will show her. <laughs> now, you're good. I just want even more bend, more hip out. Top is good. You're fine right there. Pretty. This hand, let's move to the side as well a little bit. Great. Roll up the other fingers a little more. Actually, do a little pinchy thing. But don't use the index. Good girl. Bend it. Good. Now, the face, I want it to turn this way. Beautiful. Right there. Great mood. Hold it. Let's look at that, everybody. That's very pretty. Okay. Now, just cross the arms instead. Get another pretty f look. Great. The lighting is great. Now, as I start to zoom in, and I'm no longer interested in below here, I'm going to want to use the corner of that background more, so I'm going to relax for a second. I'm going to move you over a foot like this, so that when I pick my camera position, she's kind of in that corner. So, let's do an arm cross again. Lots of hip, face this way, good girl. And if I shoot from here, I'll place her right in the corner. Let me do a quick look. Beautiful. Great. And yeah, that's very nice. Now, in composing, stay right there. Composing this shot, you might be tempted to center her as you normally do, but I would rather make it more graphic and place her in the lower, lower right side of the image. So I'm going to intentionally show a lot more background in this image. She's good where she is, intersecting. And I'm going to show a lot more background in that one. That's pretty. Okay, relax. Very nice. Now, for the fact that she's wearing a dark top, dark outfit, we can shoot her with a little more light. So we're going to make her face this way. Weight still in the back leg. Yes, I'm only looking for the hands uh, in the front. Good. Punched up tall. And we'll shorten the light a little bit. Great. Okay, reflectors in. Pretty. I can. I actually like to walk around the subject sometimes, and I can see different things, even though it's not what I had in mind. I like this angle right here, so I'm probably going to shoot it before I let it get away. So, stay where you are, and eyes to me. It's a very beautiful image. Not one that I planned at all, but I I love it. Push up. Oh. Okay. Fingers. Nice. Just downhill a little more. A little more length. Good girl, hold it. And pretty. Really nice. Okay. Well, with that distraction aside, let me do another picture. Um, I was going to push this light a little more short. I'm going to have you twist away from the light again. Good. All right. Let's go hands to hips just so I can see waistline. And good. And we're going to keep that classic bend, but I'm going to put the head this way and looking down towards here. Good, 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 good. That's nice. Let's grab just a three-quarter shot of her. Beautiful. Rose, let's go taller and then just kind of 
bend over. Good, 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 good. That's nice. Eyes to me again. That was nice. All right. There's a series of poses right there that are really pretty. Now, relax, please. Um, she has some things hanging from her dress, which are fine for her, but it just reminds me that when I have little girls and they have bows and strings and ribbons and stuff, it is the perfect distraction for their fingers. Like earlier, we were talking about how to get them to be um, comfortable and normal with their hands. The best way is for them to take their ribbons and just kind of play with their ribbons. Hers are off center and she wouldn't, she doesn't need to do that. But a child, when we see that, it's definitely good uh, finger entertainment. <laughs> okay, let's give her something to lean on. I've got a little chair here that I like to use, which is actually not a perfect color match for this background, but it's close. And remember, I'm going to put it in the shadow, in the shadow side, so it's going to be so unimportant. All you're going to see a little light on this much of it, and that's it. Let's put it to this side more. So we still want to see you through it. You want to make sure that the subject, you can still see the outer side of the body. You don't want to completely hide uh, the figure. You want to have it break out. Okay, that's good. And we will use our reflector as a gobo here in order to darken her hands because her hands are going to be a little bit too light uh, against all that black and low key. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that she's a little darker right there. Okay, now also, she's squishing up here a little too much, so I'm going to make sure there's a little space. I want you to have the hands out and just fall this direction, but you don't ever want, don't want the body parts to be hanging over <laughs> the chair, so um, that's much prettier not to actually be pushing. And the hands are actually good, so we're going to leave her alone for a minute, but the head will tip this way towards the light. Good. Let's do this. That's very sweet. And let's take a look. Quite nice, quite nice. What I'm going to do, if you can see from that proof, I like the lighting on her and her hands, but I don't feel like the background is entirely bright enough, so I'm going to go ahead and punch that up almost um, maybe three quarters of a stop. Going to make that brighter. It will also light her just a little bit more. What's going to happen is that 90 degree light over there, it's going to give us a little more light right here, which is going to light all this up better. Going to have a little pencil line, a little bit more on the face, but we really need to, to brighten the background a little bit. So let's look at the difference that that one extra stop gives us on the same shot. Okay. Very pretty. Hair light is good, separates nicely. What I would like to do finally to make this uh, little masterpiece for you is to get the spotlight to appear, you know, right here a little stronger. So I'm going to make a, an adjustment on that. And then we'll have an excellent setup. We'll go ahead and shoot a few frames of it. I'm going to get that right there. And then I have to make it a little brighter as well. There we go. Let's try that. I, I doubled that light back there. So let's see if it's in the right spot, doing the right thing. Quick test. It's good. It's a little too bright. Let's do another trick. Let's move this for a second. You can stay right there, Rose. We're going to try and make this one work. I'm going to put a gel on it because I want that spot to be warm. So I've just got this amber gel that I tape on here. It's been well used over the years. I'll have to triple my power output, about 250 watts. I'm going to pull it back as far as I can to make that spot soft. Then, let me put the uh, reflector back in place to fill her face nicely. And we, shot, we should have the shot. Okay, eyes to me, beautiful. Very pretty, like that a lot. Very pretty. Um, I'm just a little off center here, a couple degrees. All right, and this will be it. Now that I finally got the, uh, the lighting right, I'm going to do a series of poses for her. Stay right there. I'm going to have you up more and bend more. Good girl. The face will go that way too. Nose back to me just a smidge. Good. Hold it. Good. Now, the, for me, the pose 
is now old. <laughs> so we got to let go of it. And again, she's a little tall for this chair. This is a, a, a kind of a small chair. It's not like a child's chair, but it's, it's almost three quarter. So we have to make sure that we, she's not having to work too hard to, to be comfortable with it. Uh, I want you to take the hands off for just a minute and face more squarely to me. Your weight on one leg, of course. The hands come back this way. Good girl. Not totally, but you know, good. Punched up, fall forward, and a little tip this way. You should be a little taller on that shoulder. Good. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Stay there. Let's try another shot. And very pretty. Okay, that's quite good. But let's make her comfortable now. So I'm going to let you, maybe you should take your shoes off so you can be a little shorter because I'd almost like your elbows to be able to reach. And if I can barely reach, you certainly <laughs> are not going to be able to. The idea, you'll be able to see in these previews that this chair we're using is just a device to hold her up. It's not going to be an important element to the, uh, to the final image at all. So you're going to come around the same way, but I kind of want you more this way, all right, this kind of thing. I'm looking to just do the top half of you there. Good. And the hand's very normal. I'm not, I don't worry about her back. I only want the hands to head. That's my line. That's my, my uh, creation there. It's beautiful. Exactly. That's the, that's the pose I like too. Very, very happy with that. Stay right there. Good girl. And we're going to just change the pose by tilting the head. And looking down over here again, actually, let's get your chin higher and, and tilt harder, the, the head, and then cast the eyes down this way. Good girl. That's perfect. Hold it. Great. All right. Eyes to me for one, if you can see through your hair. <laughs> Good. All right. Very nice. I like that. Okay. Good. Let's do a little reversal on it there. Just maybe make her more comfortable. We're going to put this out here, she's going to approach from this side, and you have to turn a little squarer. Good. Again, our, our design is such that even though this chair is in the left side of the picture, it is not turned into the light, but rather away from the light. And then we're further darkening it with this gobo here to make it quite, quite diminished. So what we're going to have her do is just you know, recline towards the, the right-hand side. Any way that you feel comfy. Two hands should be in the picture, though. There you go. That's real pretty. That works. I want to control this a little better, get just the chair and not her, and then get this a lot closer. And we need our reflector in there as well. The big box reflector, which means we'll probably have to move this spot a little bit to reach past. But I think we can do it. That's great. If you can all see that, I'm going for just a three-quarter classic shot. And it is worth the price of admission right there. It's beautiful. Really sweet. Okay. I'm going to just pull this light down a little bit. I'm having a little bit of a difficult time keeping this out of your way <laughs> and still having it work. Okay. Taller. Chin out this way. Good. Nice. All right. That's real sweet. Very, very good. Now, hold it for just a second. I'm going to change lenses for a moment just to zoom in on her. I want you to see her head and shoulders out of this scene. So go ahead and t look at tight how pretty that is. And then I'm going to get the same thing. Without worrying about her hands, I'm just going to get her top. Very nice. And good. Getting a little amber on her face, though. Glad I did that. All right. Let's look at this. Beautiful. Hold it. Great, great, great. That's nice. OK, Rose, just turn the nose straight down the hall, like towards, there we go. Get more of a broad lit face there. Okay, always make sure your subject has maintained posture. You know, I think she's pretty well got it, but it is something I'm completely aware of all the time. Straight head, and this way a little, stay right there. Let me see a new, new angle for me. I'm gonna step over here, and uh, that's, that's probably a preferred lighting for her right there. 
I'm in love with that. That's great. Beautiful. Okay. Relax, we'll do something new. Okay, let's get this chair out of the way and leave Rose, well, leave Rose just the way she is because I like the cute resting pose she's made. Come forward a step, stay there. And we'll just turn you away from the light more though. Good, and bend, always bending, good, like that. We'll go ahead and grab something of that while she's just in rest. Some of my most delightful images have always been taken or stolen <laughs> during the restful moments. I want you to look past me out that way, huh? Good. All righty, stay there. That's pretty. I want you to stay right there. I'm going to pull this light down a little bit. This is an unexpected treat to get something like this. And a couple more clicks. Then we're going to get a different type of chair and background going. Eyes to me, beautiful. Um, before you take that body pose apart, turn completely profile to other light over there. Beautiful. Even harder away from me, just a little. Stay just like that. I like that. I want to try and get something of it. Stay right there. Chin down lower. So good. All right. Very nice. Stay there yet. Let's turn the whole figure away from me more. Good, good, good. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and finish this with a very short light. This is the way my real sessions go. It's a creative process that we just have to kind of search sometimes for the great shots. Eyes to me, beautiful, good. Okay, now let's take it apart. And we're gonna change, I believe we'll go ahead and change our background and, uh, we'll, and then we'll get a different seating device so we can create some other poses for you. Okay, one more posing device, a simple old chair, a love seat I've had forever. It's uh, about 125 years old and I've recovered it a few times myself. And uh, I've made this fabric to match this background. So it's kind of like a theme that I have. And I'm not gonna introduce much of the color into Rose's portrait, but I would see probably a little bit of fabric. So I can't use it on a, uh, an uncoordinated uh, color garment, but she's in black, so it will work very well. Again, looking for the standing image first, three quarter, showing her hands with some space. And we'll usually reward our sitters and letting them sit later after we've accomplished this much. So let's light it. And we need a gobo to darken down this chair a little bit. Okay, we wanna overlap the hands just the tiniest bit. Good, all right. Got a long lens, the 200 millimeter, and I'm getting just from her hands. Good, it's a good start. The only thing is we've, we've broad lit the chest a little bit, so we have to turn away from the light a little. Lower that front shoulder. There we go, right at me. And the hands, watch carefully. Don't move them yet. <laughs> they're, uh, they're, they're pretty and nice, but they're so much better if we move her back and let them break, let the wrist break down. Much more elegant, okay? That's one of the little tips that I really want you to take home is those hands. That hand is immensely better than the frame we just had. Uh, head square a little bit more, I'm looking right here. Beautiful. And now we're going to just a little modify. We're going to bend even more. First, let's get straight, okay? I want to see your weight on one leg, top away from the light a little, then a nice C curve this way. Pull this elbow in a little bit, good. And then the face goes down the same direction, good. Let's get a shot of that, beautiful. Very nice. Very, very good. That's it. That's it. Those hands are what I want you to really pick up on. That's beautiful. Okay. Now, let's uh, modify a little bit. Let's let you move over, Rose, this way to the outside and reach across this way, kind of as across the body. Nice. All right. Yes, good. Now that hand, just break it again. Yes, pretty. All right. Make sure the posture is good. And our head, same as the shoulder line. Nice. Okay. And very sweet. Stay right there. And I think this hand, this elbow, we want to get out more. Just a little. No, too much. Let's tuck it in harder, in fact, like that. Good. And then push up a little and tip the head. Good, good, good. Right there. Beautiful. Real nice. Okay. Let's try. 
having you approach it a little more squarely at me. Bend the wrist back, good. And then, yeah, we'll do a straight up body. And let's turn the head, good girl, stay right there. I'm gonna shorten it a little bit. She looks over lit in the shadows. So I'm gonna lose a little bit of this. Okay, I want a little more dramatic and that's giving it to me. Just keep looking where you're looking. Forget me for a minute. Beautiful, I like that. Very, very nice, good. Eyes here now, good. Find me over there, great. Okay, good. Now, let's do a seated pose. We're gonna use this arm, so we're gonna bring our model around. She's gonna sit here. I'm gonna make her use it uh, back a little bit, but don't actually lean on the back of the chair. Use the elbow. We never want our people to lean, really to lean back because it's kind of an up the nose thing we don't really want to get, get to. We want nice posture always. Good. Now with her hands, again, another critical area. Again, we're not showing the feet, but we might come this far to the knee. So these hands are good. Let's bring them out more. I would tend to try to start with one up, one down, more likely. Good. Just move them, you know, break the wrist, hold your own hands. There you go. All right. Okay, that's much nicer. We can actually move them apart, Rose, to make more hand. That's it. You want to have those hands as long and graceful as you can. Okay, a little more elbow out, a little more recline. Hands fall. Good. Head straighter. Okay. A little less light still we need. All right. Okay, here we go. Again, just maximum knees. The knees on the right and the elbow on the left are the balance for us. That's real pretty. Good, good, good. And let's see how that looks. Nice. We'll just open up a little bit. Very pretty eyes. Let's tip the head this way. Good. All right. Let's take your uh, left hand and run it down the leg more to separate it. That's good. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's try bending the elbow out and let the hand come over the leg. Nope. Unless you re rest it down a little bit. There you go. I think we have to get those fingers together. Sometimes it's, it's a matter of just trying different things. I want you to be very relaxed there, so just let it fall. Fall is usually better than anything. Yeah, there you go. That's usually my favorite thing, is a falling pose. Good, good, good. Okay, we're gonna try to drop the shoulder and fall towards the lighting. Good, stay there. Beautiful, great. All right, that's pretty. And we'll turn the nose that way a little bit. Okay, now since we are cutting her off at the knee, Let's just try something else. Relax completely. Let's take it apart like we do sometimes. What I'm going to have you do, you're going to do the recline, and I'm going to, with this right, your left hand, I'm sorry, I want you to gather a piece of dress, and perhaps from the other side more if you have enough fabric, and just kind of, you know, hold on to it. Good. Because we're going to cut you off there at the hand. Okay. That's good. Now, up tall. Head straight. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's move that hand weight down lower. You take the fabric with it, just go down lower. Good, and, and relax, the whole thing down, good. Let's see if that works for us. Pretty, that's nice. Oh yeah, it feels much more natural for me now. We get a little lower camera angle. The whole thing's gonna tip more great. Right there, very pretty. So there you go, there's a nice seated pose for you. All right, using that arm. Try one more thing. I'm going to continue with a seated pose back to the light. Let's have you twist a little more, good girl. All right, and we're gonna go and get three quarter because that's all I can fit with this lens, even though it would be cute all the way to the toe. It works pretty close. All right, good. There's not much we can do to improve that. What we will do, however, is flop the lighting around. So what we're gonna do is put our main on the right, reflector on the left, and see what kind of image it will yield. All right. Now you're gonna have me singing it. If you wanna be happy. <laughs> oh, good. Bingo. 
Don't move, Rose, because this pose, I'm shooting from here up. This hand is great. Rolling, this is good as long as it stays out of her mouth. It'll be fine. And we're going to go ahead and grab it. It's a beautiful diagonal shot. So we're going to keep it reading from bottom left to top right. And it should be real pretty. And eyes to me. And I can pose it off center just like that for the same reason. It's perfect. I think it would be great in black and white too. Tight crop like that. Sweet. Don't move. I'm going to try and punch up the background light a little bit so that we have a brighter spot in the background. There we go. Try one more shot of the seated dark. Let's see. Good. Oh yeah. That's nice. Good. A little higher with the chin, a little square with the nose. Thank you. Okay. Let's try tipping the head this way now and lowering the hand below. Beautiful. Good, good, good. That works. Great. Okay. Now, to conclude her seated segment, we'll let you kind of sit back in the corner, maybe get your feet up on the, on the chair so that we can get her whole body in a shot. Whatever feels good to you, just curl up. And that's perfect. Just be just fine. We, see, one thing we don't want to do is if we're going to include her feet in the shot, this gobo is going to make them too dark and dingy. So you got to be careful not to over darken these elements. And that'll be better. That'd be pretty good. The hand, however, this hand should roll more down the leg and this one should be wrist broken somewhere, you know, like this. Good. You have to have form to it. We'll make it, we'll normalize it, as I say, in the middle in a minute. But uh, I'll tell you what, take that top hand, your right hand, just go around your leg instead. Good girl. That's fine. That's better. I like it. Stay right there and we'll get a nice whole shot. Good. Don't move. I'm liking that just fine. I can barely fit her in with this lens, so I'm going to change my lenses real quick and conclude this. All right. Short zoom. Now we can get the whole figure in. Beautiful eyes to me. And I'm going to try to get the light on the face just a little greater. Going a little closer. This little pitch will help a lot. That's okay. This will give me a little more light on her face, less on the body. Beautiful. Good. Stay there. Good. And now let's just recline even more. Rose, just fall. Good girl. That's it. Face down that way. Great. That hand's too flat. Thank you. Good. And face back to me. Square. Good. Real pretty. Very happy with that. And then finally, let's bring the, all the arms in to the front. Just kind of compress. Good. And we need more light on the face. Again, we're getting more light on the feet than we have on the face. So I'm going to move this a little bit. Square it back up. That's nice. That'll work great. Right there. Fix our reflector. And we're right. Right is right. Ready to go. Beautiful. Nice. Good, good, good. That's pretty. Don't move though. The only thing as you look at the preview is it needs more light on the left hand background. Beautiful. Stay with me, everybody. This is the end. Good girl. Hold it. And nice. Good. Okay. There we go. Let's get up for just a moment, hon. Now, as we did in the high key scene, this will be my last uh, pose because it's such a big seller is why I do it. And I'm going to use this beautiful piece of wood and her face and her hands for a very close up shot. And I do it from little one year olds on up to full grown women, children. Where's my little posing stool? Is this the only one I've got? There it is. Thank you. Okay. You get it? We're going to bring in real low. So we end up with just hands and face up here. We're going to be zooming in for like a horizontal shot real tight. And that's good. 
That's good right there. Nice. More, we're working closer now so we can have more reflector. A closer light source to her face. And we, have to, we do have to go off the hands and chair a little bit. Here we go. Nice. It's really nice to have a dual purpose item like that reflector is. Good. All right, let me take a look at it. I should be back to a long lens, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this one for my test. That's nice. Good, good. Stay there, I'm gonna jump over this side. Eyes to me. Beautiful. That's really nice. Okay, Rose, last version. Let's get lower. Yeah, just squash down. There you go, that's fine. Chin higher though, so we get light in your face. That's good. That's nice. This way a little, I think. Good. Stay there. Beautiful. That will be that'll be the one. Stay right there. Very pretty. Get a little more light in the face. And eyes to me. Good. All right. Wonderful. Okay, relax. Great. The reason I take the time to do that is because it's a number one seller. My whole staff has gotten sick of looking at people over chairs, but it sells every time, so that's why we keep doing it. So I hope you'll join us again for another show on another topic at another time. Thanks very much.